got to stay locked in. So I, I, I think, you know, obviously we became closer as, as the season goes on. You know, you become closer, so it's just how it goes. Do you guys know what Jerry says on the radio? Do you guys ever get it? Does it ever get fed back down to you guys? No, nah, I hear mean, the stuff that he says? nah, honestly, like when we come in here, we don't hear that stuff. I mean, when I'm away from here, I'm usually like listening to music in my car and I don't listen to the radio. Uh, when I go home, I usually put my phone down just because I'm chilling and relaxing. Or I'm watching films, so I don't never really hear nothing. So I, I hear stuff through the wind here and there, but you know, you know, or maybe you will see it first thing that pop up on your phone when you click on social media or something, but I don't know. But I don't, I don't hear it. You know. he's, he's kind of bounced back and forth on things, but this mm-hmm. week he's like, he thinks you guys can run the table and still mm-hmm. do everything you want to do. I mean, that's the truth. You know, that's that's true. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing, you know, not real about that. I mean, that's 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 the truth. We can, we, but we have to do it. We got to make that decision as a team. You know, you can't uh, you can't say it. You got to do it. When you talk about playing up to your standard and the outcome that times throughout the years but not consistently, what will it take to be consistent and to put together a full game where you're producing at the level you want? Uh, just got to take it one play at a time. You got to execute that play. You know, you got to be locked in. You know, everybody has to be on the same page. Uh, and it starts in practice, you know. It starts in practice, it starts in meeting, it starts in walkthrough. Got to make sure everybody uh, thinking the same, uh, talking talking through everything to make sure everybody's on the same page, knowing what the, the person on the side of you thinking because you, at the end of the day, you plan for the guy on the side of you. So you got to know what he's thinking. You got to know what he's anticipating. And when you know the, when you know all these things, and when everybody's together, then you can, it translates to the game. And once you get to the game, you know you don't even have to say anything. You just automatically know. Travis mentioned this week that during practice, it's felt like y'all match up well with your opponents. And then some of the games you've got to, he's like, it just feels off, and I can't put my finger on it. Have you mm-hmm. felt that way at all? I mean, any anytime you 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 you're playing from behind, you're not playing from uh, uh, being ahead or, or staying on track. You know. Uh, it's always gonna feel off, you know. When you're not playing at, at your at your pace, it's gonna feel off. But the good, the great teams um, doesn't don't let that affect them, you know. They just continue to just chip away, chip away, knowing that you know breaks gonna come. You're gonna you're gonna score, taking one play at a time, knowing that this could be the, the play that scores, and then the defense is gonna get a stop, and then the special teams is gonna make a play, and then you're gonna get the ball back, and you're gonna go down, and you're gonna score again one play at a time. So I mean. You just gotta take it. You gotta stay in the moment. You gotta just stay locked in. Mike, Michael Bennett made a call for change after the game, <laughs> in a passionate way. We've seen y'all mm-hmm. changes. We've seen are external. You guys practicing outside. Well, mm-hmm. How would you describe some of the other changes that y'all have tried to go about this week? Um, I wouldn't say any anything major. Just, uh, just really making sure that everybody's, uh, you know, focused and locked in. Um, I know for us, you know, in the O line room. You know, we just we make sure we take the extra extra initiative to, you know, really talk through things, uh, maybe slow it down a little bit, making sure everybody knows it, you know, and um, you know, and as an offensive unit, you know, talking through plays together and making sure everybody's on the same page, making sure everybody understand what we're trying to do on that play, particular play. So um, just really under, understanding those things. Is it taking more time to have even more? Attention to detail, because I'm sure attention to detail is something that's part of what mm-hmm. you do. But do you have to push that part of it even more? You think? Um, I think. Uh, I, I don't think you have to push it. I think you know guys really they want it. They want it. You know they want to. Um, they want to be better. They want to help this team win. And sometimes when you go back and watch the film and you see maybe one little thing they could have done better that could have mm-hmm. you know made that difference in the game. Guys see those type of plays and they want those plays back. So the only way you can do that is if you go into the, the meeting room and you go into film and you really study and you really understanding your opponent, understanding your game plan, and go out there and not make mistakes. Mm-hmm. And when you're able to play fast and you're able to play just without thinking, when, then you know it's, it's less room for error. You can just go out there and do it. Well, when your defense creates a turnover, what's going through your mind, both in terms of the momentum and the opportunity to capitalize on potentially a shorter field? Oh man, I mean that's like the best thing in the world, you know. Just you know, you want to hug everybody on the defense, you know. But obviously, you got to get your help when they go out there. But you really just, you know, you sometimes as players, you know, you, you know, you wish you could maybe just do this or do that. But you know, really, you just got to go out there and execute plays. You got to find a way um, to to make it count, you know. And 
each player individually have to do their job so that collectively we can move the ball. You know, we don't have to score on the first play, but, you know, why not, you know, or just why not just get five, six yards and then get another five, six yards and just keep getting, chipping away, chipping away. And, you know, eventually you're going to get in the end zone. So, I mean, you just one thing about this game, you got to take it one play at a time and you really got to be locked in and be focused and be prepared so that when you get to the game, you're ready to go. There's only 16 of these, so sense of urgency is always high. Has it been different this week? With Roy, you guys are yeah. at what's ahead? I mean, every week has been different, you know, because, um, you know, there's been different challenges throughout the season, so every week has been different. And this week has been different in the sense of just um, just – just knowing, and like Coach Garrett says this all the time, knowing, know you know, but I think, you know, we really had to make sure that we know, and we know we know, and we know again, and then we go to practice, and we know, and then we go walkthroughs, and we know, and then we do it again to make sure that we know, and I think, um, you know, that approach is, is great, you know, guys are b being prepared the right way so that we can go out there on game day and just play fast and not having to think about nothing.